Hello friends and welcome to my first ever YouTube channel. My name is Anuja Thandiker and I'm here to tell you all things sewing and fashion related with of course a little bit of Desi Spice thrown in there. For my first video we're going to keep it super simple beginner friendly tutorial and that is going to be a scrunchie. What's great about this project is that you really don't need a lot of materials. The biggest thing is of course a scrap piece of material or just a rectangular or just a rectangular piece of fabric. A sewing machine, of course, sewing needles, elastic, safety pins, scissors, and I use a coffee stir, but that part's optional. Also accidentally used a dark green thread instead of black, but that's okay because it makes it easier for you all to see, to see the stitching a little bit better. So without further ado, let's get started! First step is to cut the fabric. I used a scrap that was 27 and a half inches long by 5 inches wide. Make sure to use the right needles. I'm using a knitted stretch fabric, so I've chosen to use size 14 ballpoint needles. Forgot to film this part, but you take the strip of fabric and fold it hot dog style so the right sides are facing each other. Stitch along the long edge. This creates a tube. Next step is to invert the tube so your right side is out. There's an easier way to do this, but I was honestly a bit lazy and this tube is wide and short enough so I could just flip it right side out easily. Take the two ends of the tube and pin the right sides together. You want to make sure to leave a gap as this is where we will feed the elastic through. Stitching this part is a little bit tricky since you're basically closing up the tube, but with patience and practice you'll get it no problem. Now for this next step we will feed the elastic through the tube. I use a quarter inch wide elastic that's cut to about 8 inches long. Take one safety pin and attach it to one end of the elastic and the coffee stir. Take the second safety pin and attach it to the other end of the elastic and one side of the gap in the tube. The coffee stirrer is optional, but this is honestly one of my favorite tools my mom gave me. Feed this through the tube till the elastic comes out on the other end. Carefully pin the ends of the elastic together without losing them in the tube. To stitch the elastic together, I overlap the ends and do a zigzag stitch. Finish up by closing the gap with a stitch very close to the edge, and it's ready to go. That's how you make a scrunchie! Hopefully that tutorial was easy enough for you to follow. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below, turn on notifications. I've also linked all of the products that I've used down in the description box below so you can get the same materials or similar. Make sure you comment down below what else you'd like to see on my channel, whether that be other tutorials, fashion, styling hacks, etc. Of course, tag me in any posts that you guys make with this tutorial. Catch you next time. Bye!